In this video, I'm going to answer all your questions regarding lazy loading. We'll cover what is lazy loading. We also cover why you should implement lazy loaded pattern and never follow the eagerly loaded pattern and why is it not just a nice to have but it's a must have in the modern day websites. Also, we'll see why and what kind of contents you can lazily load and how will it benefit your website, how will it benefit or improve your performance and loading time. Now before starting the video, I need a favor from you. I need you to click the like button, I need you to smash it, I need you to destroy it and then you also hit the subscribe button and support this channel. So let's answer the question, what is lazy loading? According to MDN, lazy loading is a strategy to identify resources as non-blocking or non-critical and load these only when needed. It's a way to shorten the length of critical rendering path, which translates into reduced page load times. Now that's too complicated for anyone to understand. So I'll explain that to you in simple terms. Let's assume you have a website and that website has about a hundred pages. It has the home page, the dashboard, the about us page, contact us page, etc. Now user visits your website and goes maybe to the home page or the dashboard. The user might never visit the contact us or about us page, but if you're not using lady loaded pattern, what will happen is that the user, when he wants to visit just the dashboard, you're actually downloading the whole website. You will have to wait for each and every page to be downloaded before user can see any page or can start interacting with the website. And that is pretty bad. Let me give you another example. Let's say, there's an about us page on a website, which is, let's say only 10 KBs and your whole website is about one MB. So you are requiring a download of 1000 KBs, approximately 1000 KBs or one MB. You are, you are requiring the user to download the whole bunch of website in his or her browser when they only need to download the first 10 KBs. Now it sounds pretty obvious that lazy loading is a must have and not a nice to have because you are just downloading things that the user might never visit. Let me give you another example. Let's say you have a website which requires authentication. In that case, the user needs to log in or sign up and only then he or she can visit other pages. Now in this scenario, it is even more important to have a lazy loaded pattern or a lazy loaded website. Why? Because unless the user is able to log in, he or she can never see the thousands of pages the different components, the different pages and the different layouts of a website until they log in. So imagine if you want to go to facebook.com and you want to sign in and after signing in, you see your whole Facebook page. But before signing in, imagine if Facebook was still downloading the whole website, the whole components and you haven't even signed in. You are just here to visit facebook.com. Isn't it pretty stupid to download the whole website now? You think you know what I'm saying, right? Many websites use this. Medium.com doesn't load images. I'll show you an example. And YouTube doesn't load the whole video. They just show you the thumbnails. Because obviously, when you click on the thumbnail, only then they will load the video. And this pattern is used by almost every nice website and almost every nice company. And it is pretty easy to implement. Now in a lazy loaded environment, let's say someone visits the about us page of your website. Now you are not downloading the full one MB. You're just downloading the 50 KBs that might be needed in the about us page and that's it. This reduces your load time by a lot. Imagine comparing downloading 1000 KBs and 50 KBs, especially when you don't have a good internet. So now you're actually reducing the load time and the interaction time of website by a lot by just lazy loading your website. And that is called as loading the critical or the essential part. The rest of the pages, might also be very important, but they're not critical. They're not the things that you need to download the first when you load a page or when user visits your URL. The page or the content that is the most critical is the one that user will see on this particular page. The rest everything is not that critical. And there are many loading strategies. We have the eagerly loaded strategy, which uh, we already know, which will download the full one MB of the website. Then we have lazy loaded strategy, and in lazy load strategy, what we do is we just download one page as I explained to you just now, we just download the about us page in this scenario. And then we load the page whenever user clicks on a link that takes us to another page. But there's a third strategy as well, which is called preloading all modules, which basically tells us that whenever we go to the about us page, 
we will just download the about us page first as a critical resource and we we'll lazily load the other modules but we won't wait for the user to click on a button that takes him or her to another page what we'll do in this scenario is when the about us page has already been loaded already has been loaded and the user can start interacting with that page what we'll do is in that time frame when nothing is being downloaded no api request is being sent or received in that case we'll start downloading the other pages in the background i personally think this is a great approach because first you are loading the website as fast as possible and second you are not waiting for a user's interaction when you have idle time when you have free time and nothing is being uh, changed or fetched you are loading other pages in the background which is pretty cool right now let's answer the second question that is asked a lot what are the things that we can lazy load in my opinion we should definitely always lazy load images and videos because they are not really critical resources and by that what i mean is let's say you have a video in your website do you really need to download the complete video when you load the website no right you you should wait for the user to click the play button because that video right now is not a critical resource the user might never see your video so what you should do is you should wait for a play button to be clicked and only then you start downloading the video or buffering it using streams in api etc but we won't go into that that's more complicated but you get the idea video is non critical user might never see it so wait for the click on the play button only then download it and don't slow down your website because you need to download a video of 10 mbs before you can show a three paragraph page which is pretty simple the next thing you can lazy load is actual pages yes we already discussed it i'm just giving you a brief overview let's say you are on about us page you have to go to on contact us page you don't need to download the contact us page when you are on the first page and vice versa let's see an example of lazy loading if you don't know about medium.com it's it's a place where you can read and write articles and it's basically a blog post and we kritika and i write articles on medium as well i link to them down in the description below and you can also sign up to our newsletter link in the description so in medium.com we have blogs we have text and then we also have images but images are not critical resources so it doesn't download the image at the first go it lets loading the website pretty simple and then once the blog is loaded then it loads the image in the background as you can see in the screenshot over here when you first see this page the image image is blurred out because actually we haven't downloaded the full image it's still being downloaded but whenever it's ready it will show you so this is a very simple example of lazy loading images so that's a wrap thank you for watching the full video i really appreciate it let me know in the comments down below if you learned anything new today also hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button while you are at it and see you next time bye bye